so i hope you have seen the part one of this video lecture if not please watch it first to get all the context correct link in the description below so let's straight go to the question number two Hey, hi everyone. Let's make an algorithm which will help us to decide whether to take a job after BTEC or to reject it. And before I start, a quick two disclaimer. And first disclaimer is that I'm assuming you are in love with electronics. You want to see your career in electronics only. And disclaimer number two is that all the view I will be sharing are all of um, <laughs> are all of my own so please use your brain before following those so as discussed in part one we will be offer three type of jobs so we will go through each type of job and we will find out the reason to take up that job or to reject that job and in last i'll tell my final verdict about all these jobs so first of all we will take the it sector job which are in service based and also together with the financials or the other domain job you're gonna take this job only if you are having any financial constraint and you are ready to do your hard work to do your job in the daytime and then prepare for your gate preparation and please take a job which are in big mnc don't go for startup jobs which are in service based because probably in startup you will be having lot of work pressure so it is not feasible to do preparation after that in mnc comparatively workload would be lighter and also you need to have little affinity about coding i know you will be telling that i have placed in service to a software company that means i know the coding but hey dear many times it happened because those big mnc they do the mass recruitment right so sometimes they take a person for some other reason not for only coding like his personality is good he can present anything nicely because they are a service based company right and they are in the initial days you need to do coding little bit and if you don't have any affinity for coding then in the daytime you will be frustrated because you don't know anything you need to ask here and there any so you will be fully frustrated and this thing will continue in the evening also and they are it is literally impossible to prepare for gate so if this is the case then take all other domain job like financial analytics so what are the pro of taking this type of job definitely you will be having experience experience is not in the vlsi domain but you are having a coding experience right and in vlsi we need the coding additionally you will be exposed to a corporate environment so whenever you will go for your vlsi placement that time this thing will add the value because at last you need to work on corporate environment only right when you go for your mtech admission also there are also a few of the branches give extra marks if, if you have some professional experience and cons are that probably you will be get attached to your salary receipt sms like this xx amount got credited to your account and this is a huge comfort zone and after this comfort zone like you are getting money right and then again doing hard work is little tough and additionally you need more here to prepare for get probably like in my example for me like i also have taken this it service based job and i have joined my job on 2017 and i thought of breaking gate 2018 and i finally got successful in 2019 attempt so roughly i have also taken the two year long journey and this is because of that comfort zone because after working when you come back to your room you will feel like okay let's do some chilling out or do something else then studying and if you reject this job then you need to be too sure what you are doing and you are ready to dedicate your six to seven hour each day exclusively for studying only no more binge watching no more infinite scrolling because we need a rank inside 500 right this is our main objective we will use this method i have discussed like efficient use of your get scorecard but this is a backup but initially our main aim is to get a inside 500 rank so you need to be fully dedicated for one year if you leave that job and that is great also because you have the risk factor inside you so that's actually motivated to study 
and also a bonus tip is that like if you take a job then most of the job would be on Bangalore or Hyderabad and there you can join weekend coaching also like for example for me uh, I was in Bangalore so I have taken weekend coaching there and as fortunately I have the full affinity for coding so job was easy for me and after job I have the energy to spend my Saturday Sunday fully on weekend coaching and I did my coaching from RLC if you are from Bangalore you can join this one it's a wonderful coaching institute and I enjoyed my each and every day there and yes they have very limited seat probably at that time and in month of February only all the seat got full but after that also they have the video course like you need to go there in the computer they have all the courses loaded there so you can go in your own time you can watch video lecture and then faculty are there to discuss and strangely there we have only one faculty and he is like one of the best teacher I have ever met in my life. So have a look at that institute if you are in Bangalore and you want to prepare for GATE. Now if you are placed in software product based company, for example Microsoft, Flipkart, Amazon or all the big fan company, then I think you are best suited for software job only. So please give a not second thought, hundred thought before rejecting that type of job. I know there are few people who feel like I love coding also. I love love electronics also so what should I do should I continue my career on software domain only then head here same feeling was with me like I love coding also and I in deep love with electronics and VLSI field will give you both of the two things like coding also and the electronics also so decide on your own if you don't have any affinity for or much of the affinity for VLSI then please continue this job and I'll recommend please continue it for two or three years and see yourself like do you really want to pursue VLSI career because product based company will will pay you a large amount of salary from the initial stage like just after BTEC and as you grow in your career like two three years at the same time you finish your MTech I think you would be having a much of higher payment and this doesn't mean that VLSI will pay you less if you want to see the more inside you can check out this video there I have discussed more depthly about the salary differences between VLSI and IT or software com companies. So if salary is only the concern then never leave this product based software company and if your concern are something else also like the things I discussed in part 1 about IIT and about the love of electronics then you can give yourself time 2-3 years and then you can decide on like to write a gate go to VLSI industry or without writing gate also you can directly switch to VLSI industry for sure but yeah then that time salary would be less so you need to think of yourself like give yourself time and then decide don't decide on your emotions so what's the pro of this type of job everything everything are pro only the things i discuss salary is great work culture is great everything is nice there con we have only one con actually not one con two or three con probably first con you will be missing vlsi but if you are not so much in love with vlsi you won't be feeling that and secondly the thing i discussed on my part one of the video that thing and a master degree now now the main question and that is what would you will do if you get a vlsi job straight out of btech but before i answer this question let you know that i have many wonderful topic line up to be produced and released on youtube so still if you haven't subscribed please subscribe my channel i have the full confidence that i can add value to your life and all the subscriber you are not liking my video please click that like button and let youtube know that i am adding value to your life so if you are getting a vlsi job it is service based or a product based no issue in one line if I want to describe you then you know your subject well so what are the pro of taking this job obviously you will be in industry right after BTEC and you will be having two three year extra experience the same time you would be needed for doing your MTech you would be getting higher salary than those 12,400 stipend we used to got in MTech and additionally few of the companies and probably if they are in product side they after two three years they sponsor you for a MTech degree part-time MTech degree from IITs or from BITS 
so your dream of getting into iit having a master degree could also be possible but that is the case for only product based company for service based vlsi company i don't know if any company we have and in the con side definitely in the initial year you would be paid less than a it job you need to learn a lot of the thing because only btec syllabus is not enough for a vlsi job so that stiff learning curve could make you uncomfortable and you may feel that you were struggling a lot during initial year but again the more you uncomfortable the more you learn this is the mantra please never forget this and you will be missing the joy of studying from iit getting deep into the subject and everything else i have said in our part 1 of the video and you would be either be placed in lower grade or as a contractual employee so your payment would be less and sometime it is lesser than a it job which you can face right after your btec and if you are placed in service based vlsi company then you need to work little more harder to switch your job to a product based company and if you don't do that then in 2 3 year the same time your friend will be taking to do his or her mtech will be paid more than you so to get a high salary you need to switch to product based company only there are few exception but we always talk about generalized condition so if you don't switch then you will be getting less salary than a mtech guy and in most of the job you will be having 2 3 year of bond and which is not cool so if you are preparing for gate only to get into vlsi industry i am again iterating only to get into vlsi industry then never ever reject this type of job but if you are doing for some extra reason all the reason in our part 1 video then you need to think twice because after taking this job also and working there for one two year also you still can make possible to go to iit so why to take a risk of rejecting this type of great job right so the best way is to taking any job and probably in software or vlsi domain for one year go there see the thing and after that if you want to do everything i said in part one then you can prepare for gate you can go there and this will just delay the thing and again one two year here and there won't cause any issue so the everything we discussed here are assuming that you you still to prepare for your gate right but if there is a condition that as of today right now i have both the thing available like my great gate score good gate score and also a job offer from vlsi may it be service based or product based no issue then which one you will choose and this is my own personal view and that is i would be choosing always a mtech degree from iit then a job right after btech if i can place into a vlsi company which is service based or product based then after mtech i would be getting more good offer right so the final conclusion is that don't leave any job go there for one year at least unless you are financially too stable and you can go for a one year full time coaching and i have said many times that coding is important in vlsi also if you know more insight into it you can see this video until then let's continue our discussion in the comment section i'll be there and see you in the next video tata bye bye